In this video, you will learn how to calculate the amount of sunlight hours with inside the Ecotech environment, setting up a grid for the interior open spaces in the building, to do more qualitative analysis of the amount of sunlight hours during a specific day or time period. With inside the Ecotech environment, you are not only able to look at shadows and shadow patterns, you are also look able to look at the amount of sunlight hours hitting the grid on qualitative spaces with inside your design project. So really this is just another way that we can work with our design to, to extrude and work with the relations and heights of our form and how we can work with creating some interior spaces or courtyards in this case that will have an appropriate amount of sunlight hours penetrating the areas here. So what we are going to do now is we're going to the 3D editor and I'm just going to my grid settings here and I'm turning off my grid and I marked out these two courtyards here and I go to auto fit grid so within selected objects the x y axis and I'm just choosing a boundary insert of 500 to don't have any pollution for my um, average values because of the grid penetrating the rooms or stuff like that and I'm choosing a specific cell size here at let's say 900 okay like that so now that I set up my grid I can also do this as a 3d grid if I want to I'm ready to look at how many sunlight arrows will hit the individual node of this analysis grid and really if you press here you'll see that all of these connections with inside the grid is really measuring points and right now they're set to zero so what I want to do now is I want to do and um, go up calculate and use the solar axis analysis right click and just choose shading overshadowing and sunlight hours say next for a specified period or current time of day i'm using this specific period because what i'm interested in here is mainly the summer month which i can apply here because this is where we will use these outside courtyards within the building and i'm looking at because this is an office building maybe from 9 till 17 at night so really depending on the use of the building and what you are working with for a layouting choose that setting that are appropriate for your project okay i'm saying next and i can choose different types of values to look at my result but what i like to have is the average daily values because it's more qualitative to say okay do we have two sunlight hours in this case scenario or do we have three so at Henning Larsen Architect with this project has been developed they say that they can make the, the day longer and by looking at the every daily values in the summer month we can use this to compare different kinds of designs and validate that we by doing extruding this side of the building or whatever are getting more so or less solar access into the building and that's why sunlight hours is a pretty good way to measure this so say analysis grid okay and just say next and then perform calculation i'm not going to do this uh, because it takes a bit of time but what i did is that in here i saved out the analysis grid as a grd file that i can just load in again and now i'm able to visualize my results here and depending on if i'm in the 3d or in the visualize tab there's different ways that i can simulate my grid i can say show grid lines or turn them off and say show control lines and really a great way as well to control this is that you can really use this here the data and scale now we're looking at the sunlight hours actually also calculating how exposed the different areas are how much they're shaded quite the opposite how much direct light penetrating how much diffuse light so let's keep the sunlight hours and let's say okay let's say when we want to have between two and five sunlight hours like this and then we can actually use this as an identifier to to get insight on which area areas are have less than two sunlight hours etc and again we can also visualize this with inside uh, the 2d editor and we can set up camera views allows us to visualize it a bit more effectively one great thing about the 3d editor is that we can go to the top here and we can say show average values which gives us kind of a measuring point that we can use for comparing different designs <coughs> Another thing that we can do is that we can we can of course turn on the grid nodes to look at the actual values and we are also able to export the data and put them into an excel sheet to do comparison of different design changes. So we do that by just going to grid management and 
manage grid data and say sunlight out and just say analyze data. Now you get this really nice little report with the different nodes within the different intervals that we specified up here in, in, the, in the, our settings here. So this is really cool that we can take this out to Excel and we can measure it. Thank you.